It is fuel for a new industrial revolution. High-grade metallurgical coal from beneath the Appalachian Mountains in Virginia, but headed to lands far away, like China. Mix so-called met coal with iron ore, you get steel. Steel for cars, skyscrapers. The world cannot get enough of this American coal. We're in the, uh, still in the beginnings of a major commodity super cycle with coal being a key part or at the epicenter of that super cycle demand. And that's being driven by uh, the emergence of developing countries, particularly in Asia, uh, where you have a combination of uh, a large migration of their internal population to uh, urban areas, as well as a, uh, a, a, an explosion in the middle class. Exports of Met coal are surging. 70 million short tons last year, the highest in 26 years. Long trains like this hauling pricey payloads to the sea. We work very closely with our shipping customers in order to make sure that we get the right coals to be here at the right time to meet the right boat and to be dumped in the right place. It is a revolution that has Deep Mine 35 near Cleveland, Virginia humming. From here, this black gold is shaken, spun, soaked. Qualities, inner qualities in that coal that uh, it just makes a high-grade steel, cream of the crop. The metallurgical coal like this coming out of Deep Mine 35 is solid. Steelmakers like it because it burns hot. But first, you have to get it from southwest Virginia. Through the mountains. To here, Lambert's Point in Norfolk, Virginia, where the Norfolk Southern Railway turns everything upside down. More than 100 tons of coal per car dumped with one flip. Then a roller coaster ride, empty cars back to the yard. It is a symphony of steel and squeals. Loading towers 18 stories high get the coal onto ships. We load in excess of 23,000 tons every eight hours. So a 72,000 ton vessel we're loading inside of 36 hours coal to China in 45 days. The coal keeps flowing, and so do the economic benefits to a place like Russell County, Virginia. I, I don't know that we would be able to sustain ourselves without those types of jobs. But is there a cost? The mining companies want to take American resources, dig them up, ship them overseas, and have other countries manufacturing goods that we, that Americans, buy here in America. Most of us have a different view, which is that we're manufacturing and producing the good, value-added jobs here in the United States. We're going to get rid of it. At every aspect of its extraction, its distribution, and its, and its, its burning to create energy, it creates poison. It poisons people, it poisons groundwater, it poisons communities. The industry says handling coal is getting more efficient. In terms of the environmental profile, it's diminishing as, as at the same time its demand and use is, is rising. One part of the U.S. coal market is suffering. Mild weather and the low price of natural gas is crumbling demand for thermal coal, burned to make power. Not so for Met coal. This is the good stuff. And a new industrial revolution oceans away needs it. Lee Powell, The Associated Press, Norfolk, Virginia.